Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's Manning's Chargers going up against Palmer's Seahawks. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week two matchup. The Seahawks are ready to run back this kick. Ryan set now as we prepare to kick it away. Charles is going to test the coverage this time. Palmer's heading towards the huddle. He had a quarterback rating right around 100 last week. First down here. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Palmer's got it in the gun. Smith's able to swat the pass away. Here's the Seahawks offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. Bennett's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Second down and 10. That's an interception. And will stop the play right there. Going to be the one leading this offense today. Last week, he accounted for over 200 yards passing. First down at the 26. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He steps out. And now we'll look at the Chargers offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. Offense lines up here. Second down and 11. The handoff to Matt Forte. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Miller's the receiver, sent out wide to the left. Looking to get him here for a sack. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. The kick is good. The kick is good from downtown. Chargers getting set for the kickoff. the 25-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Looking to the right side and throwing. Very nearly intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. The Seahawks might be looking at the scoreboard and thinking, uh-oh, not again, as they trail in another tight game, partner. Well, I'm going to do a little teep. Intercepted! He stacked up at that point. It's an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Manning's lined up. Empty backfield. First down at the 32. Here's Miller. Good job by the receiver. Running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Manning standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. The defense gets the sack. The Chargers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Brits lined up in the slot. The Chargers have it at the 29. Matt Forte. 
Palmer's able to read that play and make the hit. That's a timeout by the defense. All set to punt here. Brown's got it now. And he is tackled at the 44. They face first down. Charles lined up in the backfield from the gun. And that's Peterson who almost comes away with a pick. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. Setting up screen. Secures it with two hands. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. The Seahawks, one timeout remaining. Third down coming up. Palmer will have it in the pistol. Let's go, let's go. Almost intercepted. Here you are, fourth down, short yardage to go near midfield. You're losing. It's the end of the first half. If you go for it, miss right here, you can put yourself in a big hole going into halftime. So the answer is don't do it. Don't put yourself in a big hole. Punt the football, but you never know. A lot of things go through the mind of coaches in situations Zeeble, like this. Zeeble. Let's go. Palmer looking down the field. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. This is what they call managing the game. The head coach decides to go forward on fourth down, and you just got to expect either way that you're going to make it, or if you don't make it, what are you going to do? First down and 10. Peyton Manning looking down the field. Almost intercepted. And we've reached halftime here in Southern California. We'll take a quick break and return to San Diego for the second half after this. And no return here. So Manning will start this drive from the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. snap of the second half. Forte tackled down. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often, and what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Forte's called on once again. Jenkins is there to make the tackle. Now as we look at the numbers, here's a team winning, even though they have not been running the football with great dominance today. No, they haven't run it well. And, of course, when you're winning the game and it gets in the second half, you'd like to run the football to work the clock down. If I was him, I would keep trying to run the football. Second down coming up. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time for a gain of about five. Looking ahead, the Chargers will be on the road in Buffalo next week, while the Seahawks will be playing at home next week. Defense got a bit of a blow and now readies for the next play. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Peyton Manning under center. After a short delay, now they'll run it. 
That'll put them in what we call plus territory. The Seahawks will fall for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. Nickel formation here for the defense. Takes the knee. The Seahawks will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. Takes the knee. This is third down. Takes the knee. Before we go, to take a beating like this, how do you come back from it? Well, you just forget it. Athletes are resilient. That's why you're at this level. Uh, you just let it go by the wayside. Don't think about it and just get ready for next week.
Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two running backs. We're hoping for plenty of running lanes on that field today. It's Charles's Seahawks going up against Boris's Broncos. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this week three matchup. The Broncos are back deep, waiting for the kick return. The Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. Hobbs coming out now for his first series. He'll be looking to play better than last week when his quarterback rating ended up right around 60. First down at the 20. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. And Morris is... Always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. We'll take the snap from the 30. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. He'll pick up seven this time. Morris is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now you're off in three more chances. First down at the 37. As Cameron shakes off the tackle. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, when you see cover four defense, that means you have four defensive backs playing, trying to stop deep down the field. So if they're playing deep, where do you want to throw it? Well, of course, you want to throw it short. Nice decision that time by the quarterback. Over to Cameron. Good piece of tackling. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Formation for the defense here. And the quarter is underway with this snap. Running room avoids the hit and slides. The Broncos are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Wide receivers are bunched up. Second and four. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. Heading to the line for a third down play. And this was something they specialized in last week. Converting in these situations. Bob's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Sticks to his hands. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. The Broncos will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Harris is lined up now as a slot receiver. Now first and ten. Throws to the right. Catch made. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Nice job by the quarterback. Finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. They come out in the dime package. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. Catch made. Shakes off the hit. Eric Berry comes up to make the play. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. Looking across the middle. Brought down after a gain of six. This drive now about to reach the tenth play of the series. Second and goal at the two. He'll fire it out to the left. Has it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The point after try is in the books. The Seahawks defense buckled on that first drive. And now let's see if their offense can respond. The score's 7-0. to zero. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. First down on the way. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Could have been intercepted. 
So that's going to do it for the first half. Broncos are up in this one. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Signaling for fair catch. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down, offense ready for the snap. Charles is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Handoff defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating. And I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, the NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Offense lines up here. Right back to him. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Two tight ends on the field here. Third down and three. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. First down here after the run. Double tight end formation. And they'll run the football with Charles. And the tackle is made at the 48-yard line. Carson Palmer takes a look now from under center. And off the mark on that short throw. The Seahawks coming to the line still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter. Palmer is going to be in the pistol here. Third and three. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. Palmer set in the pistol. Keeps it here. Intercepted. He's brought to a halt. Worlds is probably going to go to the sideline and tell him, hey, I got such a good pair of hands at the interception that I should play some tight end. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this, he is one good linebacker. The Broncos are coming off a very competitive game last time out, a game in which they won, and today they're right back at it in another close one. Look, the players and coaches know that all these games are going to be tough. When you get these tough situations, you just can't flinch. You got to make the right call as a coach, and the players just got to make the play. That leads us to second down. Bush is out wide on the left. McGahee, good for only a yard. The Seahawks stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. Cobb's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Halfway through the fourth, and Morris has got it on the handle. The Seahawks will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. They're set to punt it away now. are at the line and they are out of timeouts go, first down pressure on every snap now it's Bennett and he's going to be tackled right around the 31 yard line now on first down every snap crucial the rest of the way Carson Palmer takes a look now from under center and now on first down they'll go back to the air pass is intercepted Phil, this was a tough loss to handle. Yeah, it was. So much confidence coming into the game, thinking you had the game plan. Your team was healthy. Nothing can go wrong, and then it does. You make the mistakes and you lose. Tough to take. 